Focus on your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try not to pay attention to anything else. If anything else does come up in the mind, just let it pass, pass, pass. You want to develop the mindfulness to stay right here and the alertness to see what's actually going on. Because what the mind is doing in the present moment is really important, yet we tend to slough over it. We think that the past is more important or the future is more important. Anything but right here, right now. And yet right here, right now is where you're experiencing the world and where you're making your decisions as to what to do. So you want to be very careful to pay close attention right here as continually as you can. Otherwise, if there's a gap in your alertness, a gap in your mindfulness, and all kinds of things can slip out without you knowing what's happening. So try to make your awareness continuous here, your alertness continuous, so you can catch whatever comes up. And then when you see things more clearly like this, then you begin to see how oh, the mind has all kinds of good and bad intentions all mixed in together. It's just the way it is. But it doesn't have to stay that way. You can learn how to train the good intentions so they're stronger. And can push out the bad intentions. And that way you find that the mind is more in line with what you really want it to be, i.e. a cause of happiness rather than a cause of suffering. So try to keep your awareness continuous. It's like following a piece of cloth is going past you on a, on a machine in a factory. They're making the cloth and you're the inspector. And if your eyes leave the cloth for any moment, you miss have the possibility of missing a blemish in the cloth. And your job is to make sure the cloth comes out unblemished, because after all, it's the cloth here is the cloth of your intentions, and it becomes the cloth of your life. And so here's your chance to make sure that your life comes out well. It happens right here. You don't have to plan too much about the future. Plan enough so you know where you're, where you're headed and what you want. But then pay very careful attention to each step along the way. Because that's where the real insights come. You begin to see things that would slip in and pull you off the path very easily. And if you're not paying attention, there you go, out into the woods. So stay right here on the path, each step of the way. And you find that this alertness you pay to, pay to the present moment really pays off. really does make a difference in your life. So the little things that come up in the present moment are not just little things, they, they're potentially big things. All kinds of big things start out as little things. Big fires start out as little fires. Big snakes come from little snakes. Big trees come from tiny, tiny seeds. So pay careful attention to which seeds you're planting, because you want the trees that are going to be helpful, not the ones that become just more weeds. <laughs>